Hello everyone, so I did a previous video where I showed the main differences for explicit profiles between 2019 and 22.3. And uh, I said that the, um, there will be mostly the same behavior between solders. There is one entity which has been changed between 2019 and 2022.3 for LS Dyna profile. It is a non-structural mass. So if you look at your model in 2019, your non-structural mass is stored in a component. Uh, and in this component, you have your mass. So if I isolate it, uh, I see only this mass. Um, so show again. If you look in 2022.3, your uh, component is still there. So you could still try to isolate it, but you won't see anything. And I guess that it will be seen as an empty component because from 22, uh, or even 21, uh, the solver mass are stored in the new entity, which are called uh, solver masses, the non-structural mass. So do not look anymore in for your mass into the component section, and you can get, get rid of this um, non-structural mass. Just look at the solver masses, and here you will retrieve all your information. Which means, if you go to... Um, 1D, you won't find mass anymore. What you need to do is right click in the browser, create, and you have the solver mass. So this is for the old interface. Uh, if I have a quick look at the new interface, same principle, you have your solver mass here, and you can create your solver mass either from the browser, or if you go to your model ribbon, sorry, model ribbon, you have the masses from which you can define your style and not mass. Hope this helps. Have a nice day. Goodbye.